Uh, okay, uh, good morning everybody. Um, now I'm going to talk about uh, module and software on CC cluster. And after that, I continue with uh, compiler and compiling and other uh, optimized library available in the format of a module uh, on the CC cluster. So it's a little bit the, the continuum and the, the the normal uh, session after the, the module. Um, model, what's a model? A model is a, a framework, uh, is, is, a, is a tool which help you to, to install software and to configure software so that you can use in a, an HPC environment, in an HPC world. They are thousand of uh, different uh, software, uh, commercial software, uh, open source software, your own software, or uh, you work with a team on an open source software and you have your own modification. And so you have the sources, you install it by yourself, or this tools is directly provided by the sysadmin of the, the cluster and you can uh, install all the necessary tools in order to, to, to work with this software. You know how to connect on the front end of a cluster because you have followed the, the SSH session. You know how to um, have the small Linux uh, instruction to, to read file, to to see the contents of file, to, to add uh, and to work with um, uh, uh, bash shell environment. I will make uh, uh, some resume of uh, some very basic concepts before sh before to show you uh, the different module install and how to manage that on in my case on limiter tree. But uh, everything is uh, nearly the same or with small differences on the Hercules or Dragon 2 or, or Nick 4 or, or whatever of the, um, the other part of the of CC clusters. So the small concept I want to show you before I show you different uh, module instruction is um, I remember the bash, what's the bash, what's the environment and what's the path because uh, module work on path, change your path in order to find the executable necessary for, for the use of your software. Bernard? Yes? Can you put full screen maybe? Uh, yeah, it's easier to, to increase the size. Yes. No, I don't like it. I, it's okay, it's feasible, but... Uh... Like this? Yeah, it's, oh, no, it's too big. This one is okay. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. So, I said that uh, before the module, uh, where, where is that again? Uh, after that, yeah. You know the concept, when you connect on a machine, you get a prompt, and the prompt is in fact a program, is a bash shell, and the bash shell, in order to start, it source some uh, specific files, so you can uh, configure it for your own needs and your uh, your personal adaptation of the of this environment. So you log and in your home directory, tilt means your home directory. Mostly it exists dot uh, c files. It's an hidden file because it begins by a dot. You remember, and inside this. Uh, it contains the definition of a path, the modification of a path. A path is a is a list of different subdirectory where, uh, when you tip an executable in your prompt, it search uh, linearly through this path, to, through this list of, of places. Where is this executable? And for instance, if uh, in this case, OMBIN is after the contents of path, which contains uh, user bin, if ls is found 
into uh, use bin, it will be used and it will not be your own, I don't know, home bin ls. So it's sequential, the search of the executable inside part. This is the concept. And you see the contains. And into Basher C, you can specify your own uh, module you want to load by default. I will show you that. And also, alias is something very useful. When uh, I show you first the slide and then I, I open the prompt and I open the terminal and I tip that so you, you, you see the, the, the differences uh, and the different alias uh, you can configure. And environment is everything you have inside this bash session. So an environment is only for one bash, it can change and you can uh, have your own specific environment. So uh, if you open multiple windows at the same time on your, your screen, in one screen, you can decide it. I have this module uh, enabled and in another screen, I have another one and so you can manage at the same time different environments. Environment is a collection, is a is a is a list of of different variables which which change. For instance, uh, this change the man path when you search a, a, a man uh, a manual of of one inst of Unix instruction. Uh, it's uh, it, it's been searched inside this path, this man path, and. Uh, different uh, information about the, the the history size and so on, the, what's the temporary size. And also in CC, we have decided some uh, default variables. So uh, all the variables are, are seen uh, on the different cluster and uh, it's uh, it's common for everyone. For instance, uh, CC Ohm, I will show you that on, on, the, on the terminal. Okay, so Let's open a terminal. Of course, I've already prepared this. When you open the terminal, in fact, you can redo that again by uh, tipping bash minus L. That means it's a logging bash. So it sources the message of the day and all the, the information you receive at the first opening uh, terminal and uh, it gives you information about the number of CPU available, what's the load, the current load of the, the cluster. You see it's quite a heavy load, it's nearly full in fact, but, and we will see that with the slum, the advantage of slum is that you submit a job, when there are resources, you start, so you don't have to be logged, it's not interactive, you submit a job and the, the system decided uh, when it's the time when the requirements are reached and so you can start. And you see there are pending jobs also. And I was talking about uh, default variable names. Home is one, is it's common uh, on every uh, Unix system, Unix system. Home is, I can tip echo, home. And so I see it for me. My home is home usl and the group and my name. Um, we have defined it some special variable, for instance, global scratch. I can see. It's scratch usl bvf pound. It's a specific um, variable where I can put temporary uh, file for, for instance, for my, my job. And global mean that is seen by, by all the working node at the same time. So it's a shared scratch on all the, the, the working node inside a cluster. One interesting, and I will work with that uh, for the exercises, is the CCOM variable. CCOM is it started with CC and the syntax is, is the same. And DF, that means uh, disk, uh, give you information about the format and uh, uh, what's the device uh, for this. Human readable, oh, we are not a machine. CC, or I can do that. 
And I see that, in fact, it's a big one. It's a big, uh, there are a lot of space, but there are quota on this, and this information is, is given when you tip quota. And uh, you see there are still plenty of space, uh, only 8% is used. This file system uh, is in fact a shared file system among all the uh, cluster of the CC. That means that when I'm, for instance, there on Hercules, I go into CC home, tipple S, I see everything is there, I touch Oh dear, I see that. Well, hello dear, it's empty file, of course, because uh, it contains nothing. And if I'm on limiter three, no, in UCL, I see I'm in the session. I go upstairs, there, I see hello dear. So directly it's shared and it's available on all the cluster it's very interesting so uh, there are specific uh, file system uh, with that so you can transfer a lot of data very easily so that was the concept of uh, variable names uh, system variable names for you i can show you plenty of one in the environment you see, I will not uh, explain all those things, but you see uh, what's interesting. So many. This is, for instance, LS color. That means that when I tip uh, LS uh, executable, I show in, in pink or yellow, or I don't remember, table are, are show, it depends on the extension, targiz are show in red, uh, of things like this. Interesting. Uh, LD, LD library path is something in, important for the uh, the library. Uh, the, the next training session I'm going to talk about a library and how to 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 find um, specific uh, portion of code uh, for uh, I don't know optimize uh, fast Fourier transform and so on. And this is the search part where you can find it. In this one, this is the Intel uh, Mat kernel library and there are plenty of uh, other parts. Depend on the module you load, you load because uh, the module instruction work on these uh, different variables. So the LD library pass is changed by the the add or the, the removing of uh, one uh, module. Um, there are other things I think that I can do that. Rep. CC minus E, that means it doesn't care about capital or uh, plenty of uh, CC stuff, but CC home, you see that? Oh, of course, uh, working directory, print working directory variable is changed when you change uh, your working directory, but it's uh, uh, an active uh, variable, if you want. Uh, CC transfer is something interesting also, it's something used. It's used for the transfer of, of big amount of data. So you, you use this CC transfer uh, subdirectory. This is so the environment and the bash. You have. In fact. In your home, I must be in my home CD. That bash RC. It's the bash RC. In fact, if this etc bash RC exists, then source it. And then uh, this one I have had from for the, the exercises. I will show you that after that. And uh, you can have a specific uh, aliases, but of course it exists also default al aliases provided by the system administrator or the, the, the default uh, Unix installation. Aliases give you all the aliases defined. So LS, by default, when you tip LS, it had 
color equal auto. That means that in my home I have plenty of color. If I set an aliases ls, ls, there are no more color because it used then which ls user bin ls. And if I want back my aliases, I can use this like color. When you type V, in fact, it's Vim, VI improvement. See, V is an aliases for Vim, and Vim is user bin Vim. You can often we, we, we make LL as an aliases for uh, list long and um, grep if you like the color. E grep is extended grep when you, you have a more complicated uh, search criteria. So, you see that module is a tool which it's not a model. It, in fact, it's a yes, it's a thing or no, no, no. It's it's um, a function, a bash function. Uh, Use that model list is the first argument I will present. It's your current loaded model. In my case, I have some because I have prepared this training session, I have loaded some different model, but uh, by default, I think you have only one small uh, model and I can go back to model purge to get back to the, the default uh, model loaded by and you have only two. It's release and this with number, which uh, seems like a date, but uh, I will explain what's this. Release is for the concept of tool change and different tool change uh, updated every half years, very six months, it exists a new tool change with the updated software and so. So a tool change, in fact, is a collection of uh, compilers, library, of course, compile most of the time with these uh, compilers and also um, specific uh, MPI uh, environment for parallel execution and specific uh, BLAS, LAPAC, SCALAPAC, uh, mathematical library. And it exists two main branches, if you want, two main um, tool change the FOSS and um, Intel install on here on the CC cluster. FOSS means a free and open source software and um, Intel means, of course, uh, the Intel compiler with the Intel library with uh, all the Intel stuff. And uh, why Intel? What's the, the advantage of Intel in comparison with uh, GCC? Uh, I, I will show you that in the, the different uh, compiler and uh, uh, optimized library, the next training session. Uh, we will try to, to make some, some small tests and to see which is the most uh, efficient, which is the most uh, easy to use or, or whatever. So, you have tool change. When you make model available, there are plenty of things uh, display on the screen, and there are meta module and tool chain independent software. This is this. I show you the this, and also then you see a release. So meta module, you see that it contains, in fact, the previous. A collection of software of uh, all these uh, software installed inside 
and with the help of the the tool change and uh, of course sometimes the the release himself inside this software change and uh, uh, it's an, an older release so with model you do not remove software when you install a new one you model can manage different version at the same time inside the same release so inside uh, uh, this year uh, the second period with the b so a or b a begin of the year b uh, the next six months uh, you see you have version there scientific a Python there with uh, this number of Python version of uh, 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 Python 3 or Python 2 is still working together, but you can load one or the other you see in the same release or if you you are familiar with the, the previous you begin to work with uh, uh, the release uh, 2016 uh, B and you want to continue with that it's it's easy um, to, to to load the 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 release you want. Um, model help is something very useful, and it shows you plenty of argument with model, and something very interesting at the end. And uh, here, this is the the the, the small commands, uh, and we're gonna play with that. Uh, or hold a wand, or uh, you see, having uh, one uh, searching, uh, uh, one way to search inside the different model available is uh, to use spider, but with, with option, it's also. And this is very interesting that I can uh, suggest you to have a look to the read the doc uh, pages of LMOD. This is uh, well done. Uh, every uh, documentation is well documented and uh, uh, there are examples, there are uh, suggestions on how to, to, to set your model uh, environment, uh, how to, to create a, a collection of model, but we will do that now. Hmm. Wait a minute. I want to make something. This one. So, I've shown you model list. It's the, your current model, your current loaded model. By default, and that, that means that they are sticky there, you see that in red, um, you cannot remove it. If you make a purge, it doesn't change. You have to force it if you don't want it. But now, I want a previous release. It's okay. Model, you remember available. It's a shortcut for available. And you see all these modules are there under release. The, the current uh, default release is uh, 2019 B. If I do model load uh, the, I don't know, last year, what was last year? This one. He said that to do that, we have to change this by this version. And then if I see model available, I just now see all the model contains in this tool change uh, of this year. So the maybe the, the, the they are not all the same. Sometimes uh, they are software who doesn't exist in this release, but in the in the previous one it was available, it depends. And uh, if it exists also, it may be, for instance, a, a, an older release, because all the software continue to have and to, to be changed and improved and so on. I want to get back to my uh, model. Oh, I can change this. I get back to this, and then of course, I see I'm back to this. Mm -hmm. I want to load the model. 
by default, for instance, yes, yeah, this way, I want to load, um, I'll, I'll take the first one of the toolchain independent. What's toolchain independent? It, that means that even if we change uh, the, the default tool, tool change there, hola, those model will still be available and will be seen there on the, the TIS software. Mostly this is a commercial software or uh, par par Paraview, Vtune and so on, Crystal. Uh, it requires a license to, to, to use it. So if you need Gaussian software, you have to contact us. Uh, I want to run the Gaussian, but uh, and I have the license. Uh, can you add me in the, the user who, are, who, who may use it? Okay, I load, for instance, model load Abacus. I don't need to, to tip the, the version, the complete version, because uh, it's the, the, the default one, I think. Well, the list show me what is loaded now. I see there. And of course, the, the two default. If I do model load GCC, I can check GCC and you see it's the version 8.3 and what's funny is that it loaded different tools needed by GCC. So it managed the dependency between module. All the module there are, are not uh, if you want a level one model, but sometimes it's only model needed by a, a main software. In this case, we don't use GCC core alone, we use GCC core with GCC. And if I switch GCC now, the, the path of GCC is something long, but you see the version is matching. So I'm pretty sure that GCC minus V capital or V functions. I see that the version is this one, but I want another version of G GCC. I can search or no, I want, I want something more. I will first show you that. Uh, after changing the, the module. module, I can load at the same time Intel compiler, but I don't want. I want to use one or the other. In this case, I can use swap. It need to be loaded. No. Sometimes it's not on the list. You see, it works together. When I load Intel, I load Intel uh, C for M Fortran and Intel MPI, and also Intel uh, Mat kernel library. So there are plenty of uh, module inside Intel model. Model. Uh, Reset is something different than model purge. Model purge, in fact, you, I show you, it puts you back to the default loaded model and all to, to, to be set. It's set it by LD. System default, sympathetic. Models. Uh, system default. Default. Sorry. Yeah. Standard environment. Uh, what's this standard environment? I want to have a look. 
So I can show, I can use show. And so I see what's this model, where is that found, and what it contains. In fact, the default model load this and release. And it's a model itself. It's a Lua, it's the, the language used by model, the, the, the new version of model, because previous, uh, there are different implementation of model, and one use a tickle TK or a Lua in this case, but both have this advantage and the, 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 the command use, uh, the command instruction. I'll show you how to change tool change. No, of course, they are shortcut. If you don't want to tip all the time model, you can tip ML. ML. It's model list. ML. GCC. Uh, load GCC. ML. GCC core and so on. Model minus GCC, it's just unload GCC. Doesn't complain when it's not loaded. Okay. I, it exists. I, I said it, it exists different model at the same times. Uh, for instance, GCC. There are different version in the same tool change release model. Spider is a way to search inside all the available model and I search with GCC and so you see all the version available there and I know that my code work only with a version uh, an old version I want to load this one so I can try this model load The cut and paste doesn't work very well. It's this. This. What's wrong? You have an error. What does that mean? That means that um, you want to see why it's not working. You can search directly the reasons there, this way. Yeah, you will need to load this release before. So let's do. Or you can model load. You see that it's an old GCC compiler, and it's okay now. GCC minus V. Oh, minus V. So. And uh, you see it's a version 5.4. It's an old one. It's working. And the uh, model show is interesting in this case. Where am I? I wanted to this one. GCC. I don't know if I there. You see what is, is the information when you tip uh, module what is GCC, you know, the information there. And um, this is interesting conflict. That means that if you have another GCC loaded, it will complain about that. It means it's a one, one name uh, loaded rules. Only one GCC at a time, or only one. Uh, I don't know, uh, MPI implementation on one, uh, at one time. 
and different uh, it set different uh, uh, variables uh, and so on this is the contains of Um, another trick to search uh, model. Grab this, you have a lot of things to see, but you can grab it. But due to the fact that it's written on the standard error, not the standard output, you have to redirect it together on the same output, on the standard output, and then you can grab, for instance, GCC. And you see plenty of information about GCC. Um, I don't know. Oh, there, OpenMPI build upon GCC. ICC, an old version. In fact, the Intel C compiler need some uh, library in order to be to be installed, and it depends, of course, on the version of the GCC also. So. It's written there. False uh, grep, of course, and it's not something different. I want to get back to, or I want to make a model collection. Yeah, that's interesting. Model collection is a way to, to put all your model. When you see, OK, I have the great environment, I have all the, the software I need, the compiler work properly on my code, I want to keep that and to be sure that every time I'm I log back on the cluster, I get the same environment. So you can save it uh, and save it into a collection. So there, model list, I want to keep it, I have the uh, the toolchain independent software, the whole release, and a specific GCC. Okay, that's a small example, but it works. And then I may model save my uh, old collection. And then I can show that no it's saved model uh, save list i have a, a previous one is my abba it's the, the previous one i've done uh, some days ago to to train myself and uh, this one is the new my whole collection then i decided to purge everything so I'm back. No, model uh, load release. I'm back to on time. Back to the present. And if I decided to load my saved collection, model restore. Uh, I see uh, the different name with the uh, save list. I load this one. And then model list. See back. Everything is restored. Just like I want. And I want to keep that. In fact, it's saved inside my um, a, a specific subdirectory inside my home. Lmod D, and I see the two files with the date of the creation, of course. This is my whole collect. I can check the contents of this. It's a Lua uh, auto generated file containing all the, the needed software. So GCC, full name, the To, to care about the syntax, it's automatically generated. But you see, this is that. And if you decided to disable one model, um, so I, I'm through that there. Huh? My Haba, it contains just Abacus. Yeah. And model disable uh, my Haba, for instance. 
and it said that when it's disabled, I checked so model uh, save list. I just have one now. My habai has disappeared, but I want to restore it. In fact, it is just renamed with a tilde at the end. It's uh, something. If I change that move. It's automatically restored. So you can set and save as many as uh, collection you want for, for your work. But you want that loaded by default when you connect to the machine. And the, the way to do that is to modify your bash RC. Remember, I go back. More dot bash RC. And you see, I've done this. First, I show you that when I'm logged, um, it's a login bash. Model list. Abacus is loaded because you see this restoring model from Mahaba. It sources when you source but if on the screen I had uh, my, 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 my old collects, or in one line or both are okay, my old collect, collection, okay, and then model list I see yeah. here okay uh, I load bash I make it a, a typo I don't model list uh, Disable save list, of course. My old collect. I don't know something wrong. My old collect seems to be okay. Uh, just to be sure, I will do that. Normally it works, but of course I don't have seen this. Ah, yeah, uh, one by line. I thought that uh, we can put multiple arguments, but it seems that's not the case. Never mind. I see that no model list. Thanks to my collection, I have saved. My GCC is OK. Uh, and so I can work directly. Uh, when I submit a job, the environment will be set it properly. Uh, everything will be okay uh, all the time. But of course, if you want a specific uh, environment uh, dependent on the, on your work and your software, uh, you can set the module inside the submission script. So uh, it's changed only for the execution of your, your jobs, not the, the working environment. When you install a software, of course, you can ask to the, the system administrator, ah, I need this version of software. And it, ha it happens sometimes it's already installed and we are few we say that, oh, okay, it's there. You can load it uh, with this instruction. Uh, you can have a look to the, the documentation. The CC documentation is very well done. Where is that? 
there, for instance. And you go on the documentation there. And you will see all the installed software on the cluster. You can get the full list or uh, classify by categories. Have a look to that. Or uh, if you are sure that it's not available, you have searched with Spider, you, you have uh, looked into this uh, documentation, uh, you can ask to the system administrator, uh, can you install this? Or you can also do that by yourself. Of course, you cannot use um, sudo uh, um, install or sudo hub get. Uh, we, we often see that it's uh, uh, user who are familiar with this own uh, Ubuntu uh, laptop and so they install it by themselves on the, the home computer. But on the shared computer, uh, there is an administrator who, who install that for you. Otherwise, uh, due to the fact there are plenty of user at the same time, so they, they will be conflict or, or destruction of file of, uh, it will be difficult to manage, impossible in fact. So, you don't install that by yourself, by you install or by you have get installed or by PM or so on. You can download the sources if you want and specify where to install. We're going to play that uh, was a small exercise this, uh, with the, the, the following uh, training session. Um, or you can try to use uh, yourself uh, Hazybuild. Hazybuild is, um, is a complex um, framework for uh, scientific uh, software. It's uh, created and uh, managed in the University of Ghent in, uh, in Belgium, in the Flanders part of Belgium. And um, it's a easy way to, to manage uh, dependency between uh, scientific software and to, to compile and to install uh, from sources the, the software on the on a cluster. What's the advantage of installing by, by sources is you can tune it for the kind of architecture uh, the cluster have. If it's a, an old generation of, of Skylake Gold or something like this, it have AVX extension, uh, specific uh, extension uh, which are uh, handled by the, the, the compiler, the Intel compiler of the GCC compiler. If you take that into account, your software will run faster. And if you compile the library for the, the kind of processor you have, it's more optimized and it runs faster. Normally, sometimes it, it's failed sometimes. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I talk about the the has build the has build way of install your own software and your own software will be installed into your home directory not uh, shared to everyone so we suggest you to do that into dot local it's an idle idle subdirectory because it's begin by a dot so when you make ls it doesn't uh, bother you with plenty of subdirectory and so on and if you use your own Hazybuild model, it will be installed there. It will create um, a, a proper model so you can load it and uh, you have your own model by loading model. Uh, not list able, sorry. By, by loading use own model show in fact you see it add your the, the proper path for 
for you, it will not be uh, BVA, it will be something else, dot local, and the model will be put into this subdirectory and hazy build, manage the, the creation and the, uh, the tuning of the model for the software you, you, you install with hazy build. And it will be installed inside, well, it depends on the, the contents of the model. When you, but of course it takes time because when you, you use, for instance, hazy build minus uh, search and install, I will not Turn because it takes that uh, from a repository on the internet, uh, confirm and secure, and, and, and the, the sources are, are, are sure there are no backdoor or whatever. You install the software, it takes time because it begins by the, the, the necessary library for the, the software, and then it, take, it compiles, and when it's finished, it's used. and um, Sometimes it takes hours to install a software, but after that, you have that inside your own .local subdirectory. One thing uh, I can uh, mention is the, the way to, to make a different model for different architecture inside the same uh, cluster. For instance, here in Lemaitre 3, we have two architecture. One, the, the most common is uh, Skylake everywhere, uh, and there are previous um, as well uh, machine, which are only used for debug purposes. So the, the limit of time is six hours, but those cl cluster have an older generation of CPU. So if you try to use model compile for the all the working node of Lemaitre tree, but on this four uh, debug node, it will fail because the architecture is older and they are not all the the extension uh, they they. The, the, the fine tuning which are used on uh, the other working mode. To do that, you know a sort of file system which is PROC CPU info. CPU, you see the number of CPU, 24, and you see the, the generation of the CPU and the model is a number, is an increased number, and this is what we, we used. If I'm connecting on, I cannot do that as a ordinary user if I don't have a, a slow job running on the, the node I want to connect, but I show you that in my case with root. No. And then no, I think uh, wrong password. Okay, and there you see that it's another model, an older. Oh, Sorry for this. An older uh, generation of processor. And the model are also available there. Model list. Model. Yeah, it's there is a cache and the first time you you want to get the list, it take a little bit more time. After that, it's faster. But the first time it's slower. So we generated the cache. Yeah. Model load uh, GCC, which GCC, this one. Great. I want. 
to check. And I see that it's a OPT uh, CC software architecture is the mounted point of a specific directory containing information about the, the kind of uh, Unix system and also here the model of the CPU. That means that you see, and I quit and I'm in the default uh, architecture all on the the other working node of Lemaitre 3. I check this one. And you see, those are not the same, in fact. And the mount point is different. So the mount point is based on the, the kind of CPU. And so all the, the software is specific to the machine. The advantage is for you, you don't have to change your code. It's managed, the library are there on the, the different node and they are loaded when you start your job with Lum. And it's all the time the, the, the optimum and the, the, the best library for the CPU on which your job starts. On this example, it's a bit trivial because there are only two architectures for the major tree, but we have cluster with more than uh, 10 architecture. I take the, the example of Manback. Manback is, I know, CC um, cluster, uh, CSM cluster, not CC cluster, but if there are users from the CC university who need uh, night night lounge or or specific uh, uh, architecture and they want and you have a good reason to try to use uh, one specific node of uh, man back we will give an access to them it's not a problem but on man back there are more than uh, 10 or 12 i don't remember uh, different architecture who are coexisting nearly peacefully. OK, I think that I've shown you everything I want that to show uh, about a uh, model. If you have any question, I'll, I will have a look now and I will uh, try to answer with my colleague. Uh, the next uh, is the following of, of this session is about the compiler and the optimized library. I thank you for your attention. I I don't hear you. Yes, yeah, sorry, I, I was muting myself in the presentations. So I will start. So uh, thanks for that, Dana. First, so yes, there was actually quite uh, a lot of questions in the chat. So that's very good. So we encourage you, of course, to uh, continue to do that on the next sessions. Uh, that was really, really nice. We have a lot of interactivity with you to be able to help you all to understand what's, what's going on. Uh, of course, if you still uh, want to ask questions on Berna or if you want uh, him to uh, say live, basically, uh, in a different way than for the chat, for some questions, maybe even there were already um, posed on the chat and answered by me or, or by Damien. Uh, don't hesitate to put to re ask the questions now, and uh, Bernard will uh, be able to answer those questions. Um, we we'll still have a couple of minutes where we can uh, ask as many questions as we want. Uh, 